Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, BC, Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. So this morning I was sitting here talking to God and and just spending my time with Him. And as is my usual routine, um, I open up my Facebook on my phone and and I come towards this direction to get ready to put the video out for you guys. Um, but one step before connecting to the Pastor Stitch page to start this video, um, I almost always look at my memories because it's on that screen of what happened on this day years ago. And I was looking back on some of my memories and, and it, I, I enjoy doing that because it reminds me of how far God's brought me. I saw a post that I put up 10 years ago. And uh, it got me thinking about Christianity. Now, understand, 10 years ago, I knew God, but I was not living a Christian life. And uh, I had walked away again. That was a point in my life I wasn't, I wasn't interacting with God. And I was allowing myself to live in my active addiction. And uh, I was just about ready to make that transition. Just had found a church. And was ready to change. And I posted a post. And it basically said I found the perfect cure. Um, perfect birth control. And now, don't get me wrong. I didn't come up with this. This is something I was told as a little kid. So, I mean, it's been around for years. Um, but basically, you put a, a bare aspirin between your knees. And you keep it there. And as long as it's there, you'll never get pregnant. Right? Also, truthfully, probably can't get somebody pregnant if you're a guy. Um, it is a possibility, but you would work really hard. I got to thinking after I read that post about what it's like. Sometimes the simplest answer is the perfect answer. But it's virtually impossible to live life that way, right? I mean, you couldn't live your life with it, aspirin between your knees every minute of every day. It, it's not possible, right? And I got to thinking, how does that apply to Christianity? And I was thinking and had been reading in John chapter 3 this morning a little bit. And Jesus was dealing with Nicodemus, and Nicodemus had asked about, you know, Jesus' ministry and and the kingdom life and all of that, which Jesus, that's what he preached. That was the good news, the kingdom life. Jesus said, you, you have to be born again. You have to be born of the spirit and of the flesh. And Nicodemus was drawing a blank and Jesus said, the wind blows where it pleases and you hear its sound, but you don't know where it comes from or where it's going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. And I got to thinking about it. And, you know, if we're out in an open field, we're driving down the highway and there's an open field on one side, we can pretty much know where the wind is coming from. We can feel the direction, right? Right. We can get a concept of which direction it's going, but it's localized to what we're experiencing in the moment. And it's crazy because if you get inside a city, the wind can be coming from the east, but you're feeling it come from the north because of the way it has to move around the buildings. Right? So it can be deceptive. We think we know where it's coming from. And that's how it is with those of us born of the Spirit. You might think you know all the ins and outs. You have the perfect answer. It's simple. And yet, do you really? And until you come to the point where you recognize that God gave us the perfect answer in Jesus Christ, and we invite him into our life to integrate our lives together with his and then he and the father come and live with us and they give us the spirit dwelling in us to teach us all things 
and to remind us of what Jesus said. That's when we can grow and change. That's when we go, come from the point of, you know, you can, perfect solution to not getting pregnant. Put a bare aspirin between your knees and you can't get pregnant, right? Can't live your life that way. But with the Spirit of God, the concept is just like that. I don't have to have a bare aspirin between my knees every single minute to live my life. But the concept is just as simple. And that's what living the Christian life is all about. There might be a really simple answer, but it's impossible to live your life that way. Just do everything perfectly right. Do Live your life with integrity. Don't ever do anything wrong. Don't ever think anything wrong. It's simple but impossible to live. But living with the Spirit of God dwelling in you, that is the answer. You may think you know, but it can be coming from a completely different direction. I don't know if I made any sense today, but I hope I changed just one person's thought processes. I love y'all. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget, like and share this video.